Now this is something very interesting and I thought I gotta share this because it took me a little bit of time to figure this out. So I went ahead and I broke out this gasket from the gasket plate there where all the gaskets came in my rebuild kit. And the first one I got was this one. And on the first look, I'm like, something is weird. This is not right. So I tried to fit it on here and it turns out that I could not figure out a way where it would fit. Just wouldn't fit. It was just way off. So I turned it around. I tried it always. It's wrong. Then I found another one in that other cardboard sheet that matches pretty good. But the bottom part was missing. So I looked and there's this bottom part on the same sheet. And I'm like, man, it kind of lines up here, but then it gets really bad. It doesn't, it just doesn't line up. This is way off. So I kept looking and I found this one and I laid it out and I'm like, this is the same problem. This is way off. This is way off. Even those are all lining up and it's upside down. You can see here's the writing there. Here's none like one world. And then I found the last one. Again, the writing is on the other side, but at least check this out. Um, here we go. It fits all across. So you could have up to two or three different combinations of timing covers, I guess. Now I haven't done any research on this. Maybe it's just from the older Perkins and then the upgraded ones have a little bit of a different shape. I don't know, but thankfully I had the right combination in my package there, but there's three pieces that I won't be able to use. So heads up for you, make sure those fit before you are putting on your glue of choice or silicone so you're not stuck with a gasket that won't match your timing cover.